Yo, what is up, my fiends, my monarchs, my royal fans? Shout out to the new evolution of the monarchs. So, like I said from last video, I'm going to be adding in a little bit more of the Kashtira cards. So you're going to see me comboing off a little bit with these Kashtira guys al along with uh, Pantheism of the Monarchs. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a great showcase of just the draw power behind this deck. Wow, wow, wee wow. I just drew a shit ton of fucking cards. And I just added a bunch, right? Like Pantheism with all these guys. And you're going to see that now it's different. Now I'm not doing the, the field lock because it just wasn't working at the moment. Or where I wanted to go with the Kashtira cards. You know, I, I really wanted to actually do a hybrid between Kashtira and Monarch. So I thought this would be kind of close to like the final evolution of what I wanted. And yes, here's this demonic <laughs> fucked up card. I'm having fun, man. All these decks were running loose and rampant. Um, MD and Diablosis is so fucking funny to me. And I'm going to use it. Which is also why I'm not really using Rika that much. I don't want people fucking up my shit. But anyway, he gets me right back with Evenly. So, oh well with that, right? And here's their own uh, Kashira nonsense. Uh-oh. Adventure engine. I'm in trouble. <laughs> but I am relying on my effective Kashira Ogre to uh, probably rip something out of their deck. It is, it has, it's a pretty... I don't know. People think Ogre is pretty underwhelming, but I think it's actually a pretty fucking powerful card. So they take out my big eye, which is a smart pick. I think that's smart in the quote-unquote mirror. Um, but yeah, here I'm Monarch at the end, because I could still tribute into a Majesties. Ooh, D-Shifter. It's still not useless, because I do have Stormforth somewhere. Anyway, they're going to shuffle this guy, so I don't get him, uh, bring him back out. But now I'm going to be able to look into their deck. And I probably rip out... I don't even know what I ripped out. Wait. Uh... What did it? I guess it doesn't say. It's always interesting. But anyway, crash those. No more Diablosis. Bam! Into the snow. Right? No effects with Majesty's Fiend up. And I'm chilling. Even though I didn't lock them out of the extra, like, they can't do anything. They don't have enough power. They could bounce this. Sure. But then, now let's see what you're going to do. Um, you know, you already have your adventure cards out. So, what? like, yeah. You're just going to do what? Oh, and I, I kind of fell asleep here. I wasn't paying attention. I should have just brought out the uh, Prime Monarch again, and I wouldn't have taken that first 2k. So that's like one misplay I had here. Literally, if I would have done it sooner, I would have had a perfect, nice little 8,000 here. Um, but yeah, uh, you're going to see very quickly, this is going to get out of hand for them. They're going to attempt to negate that. I'm like, absolutely. Uh, let me go into Pot of Prosperity and see what I got here. This one I'm using Radiance. So that's a little bit more of a budget-friendly option. I think I switched to like the other level 7 uh, Kaiju, the insect one. Boom, Monarch Stormforth. Get rid of that adventure token. They take half damage, which is fine. But yeah, now they're locked out of uh, <laughs> effects again. And they I don't know how they're going to be able to get into that adventure stuff to bounce my Majesties. And they got rid of the whatever that dumb Griffin Rider is. So, or Griffin. Um, yeah. Boom. Yeah, next, next turn. It's GG. Uh, and I just went up against a completely meta crazy deck and there's back and forth and they even even lead me they even even lead me <laughs> so uh yeah um they're not equipped with anything so they can be destroyed i had to double check and read this card i was like yeah oh they're not equipped that's like the one little draco back whatever that's called yeah i'm like nice nice and i'm like oh fuck i'm 150 off okay let me distribute this d, d shifter so at least it's not useless in my hand Oh boy, here comes the Griffin Rider, but I don't think they're going to be able to bring it out. And here they just BM and do the Ash. I'm like, oh, great, great, great. Okay, so they uh, accept their defeat, I, I hope. Uh, <laughs> into, yeah, I mean, it was over, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know if I even activated. Well, I couldn't. <laughs> Majesty's Fiend. So yeah, that's a, that's a, one hell of a lock, which is Majesty's Fiend alone. So on to game two. Snow World. Yeah, this will probably be the last, like, at least commentated video for maybe for a while. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, my semester started back up with, and as well as my work. So if I'm caught up with that, I think it might just be easier for me to record without my voice and just put 
music in the background, see how you guys like it. And it might be a nice change of pace. So you guys let me know. No, 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 I want to hear your voice. Which I doubt uh, you do. Only I want to hear my own voice. Also, uh, shout out to the fucking cancer that is uh, Sky Striker. Uh, I never like this deck, and I especially don't like the players that like this deck. <laughs> oh, and it gets worse into Runic. All right, makes sense. Right, it's the only way Sky Striker is going to be relevant is with Runic or probably something else. So they get rid of Pantheism. Not the end of the world because I still have my own. Um, but yeah, this is very experimental, right? I'm like, I have the tenacity in here still. I did Danger Dogman because it has the tenacity um, things. So. I might come re revisit this. I took it out of the deck um, after this game. You'll see why. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had, I had to think really carefully because I, I with Stormforce you can't do both. You can't Xyz and then tribute their guy. You have to choose whether you want to tribute their guy or you want to Xyz, and that's what I found out this game. So like whatever, I'm gonna try to do my Xyz plays. So let's go into uh, this guy, and I want to pop this guy right here they negate me that forces the freezing curses out i'm like okay not the end of the world they're only shuffling and drawing one here let me get rid of the uh, the monarch thing because i can't use it and then get the two pantheism effects of drawing two into uh searching uh a tenacity again into the majesty's fiend boom and then i'm able to attack with dark arm because he negated my effect and and then i'm able to go to zeus this was a misplay i uh <laughs> <laughs> you can't activate Zeus with Magic Disease Fiend. So this was a big, big whoopsie. So they pop that. That feels bad. I probably, I, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, at least I still have pot of extra for extra follow up if I need it. I don't want to get my, my deck to get too thin. But yeah, they G snatch my Zeus. They're not able to use it, right? Because of Magic Disease Fiend. They link to. They just do that, I think, just to get rid of the Zeus. Just like, fine. I'm like, thank you for getting rid of my error. I probably just should have. What could I have gone into for my extra deck? I probably just shouldn't have XZ's at all if I was going to... I don't know. Probably... Tomahawk? I have no idea. It wouldn't have mattered. It literally wouldn't have mattered. I probably could have linked into something. I probably could have gone on to BLS. Untargetable with a level 7 uh, as uh, fodder. So... Uh, yeah, uh, danger, uh, I'm able to use tenacity because of the danger dog, man, so I get a second monarch, just to, you know, it's nice to have, beat over this guy, okay, we're chilling, um, okay, yeah, I don't danger dog, man, yet, but, uh, we will see, I was just playing it safe, it is the runic part, they can't activate effects, I'm just gonna keep doing this, um, that is annoying, one day apiece, keep this in mind, guys, I'm like, oh, boy. I completely forget about the one day piece. <laughs> if you guys can't tell by my my tone, Monarch Stoneforth, I'm able to tribute that just to get the D shifter out of my hand. Oh wait, that would have been game. I got hype. No, it's not. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Oh yeah, I can't dog man because of fucking Magic Disease Fiend. So uh, GG. Uh, here they're gonna try to deck me out. They are very fucking close. Oh, there goes the Lightning Storm. Oh boy. Which is crazy. Wait, how are they able to Lightning Storm? Oh, did they? Ah, they didn't have the fountain. Okay. That's why. Uh, absolute cancer. But at least I have the evenly, right? So that's going to be pretty cool, I think. So get this shit out of my fucking game. I don't know what they do with this, but then they decide to keep the last one. Whatever. I, here's where I dogman sent itself. All right. And that's when I was like, let me take this shit out of the deck. One in five chance it took itself out. So shout out to the, was it the Master Saga ser series? Shout out to DZ, man. Uh, I, I feel your pain feel his pain for sure um so here is like yeah th this is gg uh they don't have any more gas left in their deck uh it is cash tier time and you will eat shit oh they have snow i completely forgot about snow literally in the game too <laughs> so i had to get rid of one of those sky striker cards they opt to flip this guy face down and then i'm still able to use his effect to rip out i think the other snow in their deck i'm not sure but boom Radiant into Diablosis. Oh, I forgot about the snow the second time. <laughs> so stupid of me. I uh, yeah, I should have gone into probably a Link Two instead. I probably could have gone into like a Link Two Dark Charmer, take some type of dark, yeah, ray from their deck, and then shuffle the last card that they had in the back. But yeah, they didn't want to. They didn't want the the Warriors way out. Sorry, that was a long fucking uh, gameplay. 
whatever, fuck it, guys. You, you guys are going to watch it or you're not. You're either into Monarchs or you're not. So I'm not going to split this one up into two. Uh, fuck it, I don't feel like doing extra work and editing it down. So you're probably going to have a nice, crisp 15-minute, uh, maybe, at least, uh, gameplay. So here's the Maxi, because uh, it is Master Duel, and I am having fun. Are you? Uh, as they set to and pass. Um, it is what it is. Here's Fenrir. Uh-oh, my deck is looking a lot less like Monarchs now. <laughs> it's almost looking like full-on... Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, that's why they run Ash, because it's a fucking free bear. This is my first Baron uh, de Fleur summon ever. I, I just crafted her today and used this. So, And then they were using some insect stuff. I negate that. Goki pull. I kind of feel bad for my opponent. They're doing something kind of off-meta and just like Baron kind of just... Yeah. Yeah, that... <laughs> I think I could have done th things differently to OT Cam last turn, with how I move things. Uh, maybe not. But yeah, it's 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 fucking GG here, man. And I get the call by in case I do the, the Goki pull effect again. Uh, so Castira and they're like, yeah, let me get the fuck out of here. Uh, they're trying to probably play test something in Diamond Five. That's where all all, all these games are because I was not really trying to crawl and get out, but um. Just like I was just playtesting. I want a semi -com competitive level to play test so that when I start ranking up, my deck feels confident. I don't have to change too much. And by the end of this replay, you'll see it. I think it's ready. Um, at least there's going to be a couple iterations of this deck. So there's going to be like the OG Monarch stuff that's what doesn't have the uh, Diablosis or any extra deck. So it's focused on locking, extra deck locking. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I just D shifted. <laughs> I, I I got lost in talk. We won't instant replay that, but I just fucking de shiftered my opponent. Uh, we, <laughs> I forgot about this gameplay. I de shiftered my opponent, uh, who was playing uh, branded, and then just instantly surrendered. So that was uh, how that game went. So let's go uh, GG next. Oh, sorry guys. I, I feel like I ruined that by talking over it, but fuck it, man. You guys could play it back if you want to watch it. Um, here's another skillful use of Maxi. That changed to their T-Shifter. I'm like, uh-oh. Yeah, oh. Uh, it's probably another Cash Player, right? Or Exo Sister. Something of the sort. Um, I don't know which would be better in this meta now. I really don't know. That's the cool thing about this. Like, there's, I am seeing a nice, like, diversity and variety of things. Obviously, there's a lot of Cash. Probably more than there should be, to be honest. It's just Diablosis that's broken. Uh, maybe Fenrir, you could argue. But uh, Yeah, speaking of which, I should have done Fenrir. I should have banished Fenrir because Fenrir could have... Brought the cash tour unicorn to my hand. And then what would I have done? Yeah, I don't think I could have done anything else. I guess this is fine. Two, three, four, five. I'd probably take maybe the Ascended Thunder out. I'm not sure. And yeah, now I know what you're playing. Do you blow this time? Let's go. I probably could have done this differently. Um... Oh, wait, no, this is a different... I'm uh, thinking about a different game where maybe I, I double Diablos to somebody. Oh, Maxi. I could have ashed that, but I was like, nah. I'm just going to get their other Diablos out. <sighs> Mill fucking however many. I, yeah, it's over, dude. It, it's so over, man. I'm sorry. And I went second, by the way, guys. So, uh, you know. They got fucking rocked by Maxi. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Can't blame the guy for using Maxi. All right, final game for today. Maybe you know one of the last videos for a while. At least with my commentary, I might try to space these up instead of like maybe once every two days, maybe once every three or four, maybe just once or twice a week uploads. Especially with my you know my life kind of picking up, ramping up. Um, so again, another skillful use of Maxi. Uh, my opponent is smart, and they're just gonna kick close and pass. Again, they're also doing this adventure stuff with some synchro. Just very interesting. I'm like, okay. I, I'm i really sick of seeing tier, but this is still somewhat interesting. Uh, I get my Rise Art out. Yep. And then they're uh, going to instantly scream. I'm going to max C. Again, sorry, man. I had another one. Feels bad. Uh, into the Rokolos. I'm able to just rip out that Kikolos. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Felt good ripping a Kikolos out of their deck. Um, so they negate the uh, Rise Art, but guess what? I have a birth anyway. Bring it back. And it, here I opt. I had the choice. I either could have gone to my rank plays. So I was like, I think their tier stuff is dead. 
after hitting kit i'm not super worried i saw what else was in their deck it was a bunch of synchro shit so i was like let me just tribute over that guy so that i don't have they don't have a negate for any of my special summons and like that'll be that i'll search out the prep and i'll have enough follow-up for the next turn i'm gonna play the long game and i also get to see what else is in their deck yeah i think i just instantly take out the distrudo because i could tell they're doing some type of synchro bullshit so yeah pass and now we got a full-on Castira thing, but that's the cool thing. Like, it's still like a spicy version of Castira a little bit, right? You got still got the Monarch Stoneforth here, and I'm learning about more of this deck works. We'll see. There might be a back and forth between what type of how much percentage of Monarchs. Now it's more of a cash deck, and I'm also thinking about running a different version of ca cash mixed with something else. Don't worry, guys. I won't be a meta slave and sheep just running pure cash. But this was pretty interesting and, and, and pretty fun, in my opinion. Even if it is a lot of cash, it mixed up the gameplay to me from Labyrinth last uh, season. So with that, I guess uh, there's no more loyalty I guess, or, or royalty, but we can still say stay fiending, guys. Uh, stay fiending, motherfuckers.